and welcome back to the Morning Blend where we want to know what's in your makeup bag with Merle Norman. My biggest face complaint are those bags under my eyes and a lot of people get this puffiness from allergies, wearing a mask now, or just not being hydrated. Beth Frost is at her Merle Norman studio with some solutions. Hey Beth. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Tiff will totally back me up on this. I complain about the bags under my eyes all the time and I have done everything. Tea bags, different cosmetics. So I think in some ways it gets to, especially if they're genetic, you just got to have good makeup tips and the right products. Yes, correct. You know, any, any time somebody comes in and wants makeup to cover something, I always tell them we have to start with the skincare um, because you think about it like a painting. A painting is only as good as its canvas. So we need to work on our canvas before we start slapping makeup on. Okay, so we start with the skincare. You say that is the first step. And that, that area around the eyes, especially under the eyes perhaps, is super sensitive, isn't it? It is. Um, it's, it's totally different skin under the eyes than it is on the rest of the face. So you need to treat it completely different. I love the Skin Intelligent um, Cleanser, and I know there's a great moisturizer. I didn't realize that you had something specific for the eyes in that line. We do. We have the Skin Intelligent Eye Moisturizer. Um, this is amazing, not only because it's got the cooling hydrogel, but it has this tip on it. It's a metal tip that stays cool. And so when you're putting the product on your eyes, it's also cooling and calming on your skin. What else is in it? Does it do something that reduces puffiness? Yes, it has been proven to reduce puffiness. Um, it's got a peptide in it called Isoril. Okay. And that's the peptide that does that. You say the next step then is the foundation primer. Why is that good for puffiness and dark circles under the eyes? So our favorite one is the 24 karat gold foundation primer. So this one also has um, polymers that help to tighten and lift the skin. So it, and it energizes the skin too. So this is the one you want. It's game changer. Okay, so this is a question that I have about concealers is how you choose, I guess, the right shade and the right color. Because some people say use green, some people use the things that are almost like more purple or lavender, or some will go darker than your regular skin color. Yes, so what you wanna do is you need to do something opposite of what you already have. So for example, if you have dark circles under the eyes, um, like from sun damage, it, it's, it, they look brown almost. Um, you need to use a concealer that um, has a cool or pink undertone. Um, so it's kind of opposite of what you're covering. If you're trying to cover something that's more red or pink, then you wanna go something that has that yellow undertone. Interesting, and you have different formulas of concealer, right? We do, we have three different formulas depending on your need. Um, our cover up is this one, and this is great for any um, scars or blemishes. Our creamy concealer is in a little case and it looks like this. Oh, nice. And um, the creamy concealer is great if you're looking for a buildable concealer in a compact. So you okay. can see it's got a mirror there too. Okay. My favorite is the dual action concealer. So this one is great because it's hydrating and it has buildable coverage with anti-aging benefits. Nice, nice. Okay, so, and, and you said that is called the dual action concealer, yes. right? Dual okay. action, and it comes with this fancy little applicator. And do you put concealer on before foundation or after? Personally, I think it's depending on what your need is. I put mine over my foundation because I like to brighten up and make it lighter under my eyes. And if I did my concealer first and then put my foundation over it, that would ruin what I was trying to accomplish. Right, got it. And you like to finish then with the foundation of your choice and then you also have a soft focus finishing powder, right? Yes, love this product. 
Um, it is in this cool matte finish and it has two different colors that we have, a lighter one and then this one's in the darker skin tone. And this just it has optical diffusers in it, which means it takes the light and tricks our eye into hiding some of our flaws. What's your favorite makeup tip um, from artists in terms of just kind of getting rid of that puffy dark circle look? Is there, is there a way to apply concealer for kind of a finishing touch? So uh, we like to use this brush. This is just a beautiful soft brush that is great for kind of blending your concealer in and making almost an airbrush look. But you can also take your concealer and apply it in a diamond pattern. So at the tear duct, here at the base of the eye, right under the arch of the brow, and then on the outside here. Oh, a diamond, I get it. I like that. Yeah. And you'll help people with makeup tips if they're trying to conceal puffiness and bags and get great skincare on the base, right? Correct, we love doing that. So any tips and tricks that we have, we are happy to share. I love it. And there are locations convenient for just about everybody. So you can look in Brookfield at Brookfield Square, in Hales Corners on Highway 100 between Grange and Edgerton. Also in Oconomowoc, they're located at Paps Farms. There's also a shop in historic downtown West Bend.